presents Space News. I'm Braden. I'm Dan. And I'm Andrew. Uh, this is a, you know, kind of our pilot episode. This is going to be, uh, you know, a little thing we're going to try to do where we mix a couple things we've been doing into uh, one show that allows you to um, watch it on YouTube, listen to the podcast. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, we've got some awesome space news uh, this week. Um, obviously, the big news has been the James Webb Telescope um, being launched over Christmas. Um, now, there's been some benefits to this. Uh, if you want to read any of the articles, you can go to sciencealert.com. Um, basically, they've had to do uh, do some corrective actions um, to get this thing out to orbit, and both of their expected uh, corrections have used less fuel than they previously thought. Um, so right now, the James Webb is beginning to unfold its sun shield. Um, it's gonna. It's a couple day process. These things are huge, and this will block out the the sun. So it'll have one hot side, one cold side. Um, ah, so this is all a plan to black out. This is a Mr. Burns plan. They're yeah, all just, they're uh, just out there to black out the sun, right? Yeah. And then NASA's gonna, NASA's gonna charge us to use the sun. Oh, are you sure it's not just Zell? It's happening. Yeah. Guy wants everybody as pale as him. That makes sense. So they've Check they've out. actually NASA's actually also released this uh, really cool website uh, called uh, it's called Where's Where is Web Where in the world is James Webb Telescope. Um, and as you can see a, there, well, it's not like where in the world. I mean, it's like technically where in the, space. Yeah, yeah it's space. It, space. Where in the universe? It, it's kind of cool. It shows you, um, you know, where it is, where its planning stage is. So right now, you can see um, we're still in the deployment of the Sun Shield. Um, you know, we're halfway through that. That's going to be completed um, at the, as we're recording this. You know, probably as we're recording this. Um, the secondary mirror is going to extend on the 10th till the 11th primary mirror uh 12th 14th uh and then the mirror segments from the 15th to the 26th this is the most like nasa scientists are saying this is the most complex satellite or telescope <laughs> basically operation they've ever done before so they've the window for them to do this they've given themselves lots of wiggle room because they're like you know we're not sure if it's all going to work on time if it's going to work perfectly uh, what's going to happen so it's kind of just a, a wait and see uh, approach but uh, as you can see we got 30 days till the l2 insertion uh, and then it's operational the one thing that i was surprised about that like it's really supposed to be it's like it's a five-year program the james webb telescope because they're not sure how all these things are going to hold up in the conditions of space well we've never had anything out there before yeah. So it's you never had anything out there outside of the uh, low Earth orbit or uh, Earth orbit longer than, you know, there's satellites and things like but a telescope telescope, something completely different from some of these. Yeah, so it's having it's, something out there. It is a monumental achievement and it's something that's super we're going to we're going to get some real cool stuff out of it. Uh, and next up on Space News is China accuses the U.S. of unsafe space conduct after a near miss with Elon Musk's Starlink. Was it them or Russia that just exploded a satellite and <laughs> and it caused shrapnel everywhere in space and uh, sent the ISS into panic mode? Who who was that? Was that I, that might have been Russia? Before I unfairly blame China. Okay, well then, all right. I'm sure China hasn't done anything improper ever. Well, uh, it's interesting because you're probably going to actually see a lot more of this kind of complaint and this kind of back and forth between countries uh, as space just gets more crowded. Uh, as you have more manned uh, installations in orbit, like you're going to see this. It's, it's like having uh, traffic jams. Up well, there. Luckily, we have um, Space Force to figure all this shit out, right? Well, tech, well. That's the problem is that Starlink, which is like a subset of what is it like, like SpaceX or whatever, is a yeah. private company. And so uh, China's main complaint uh, when they put it to the U.N., they said that the it's the International Space Treaty or something like that, which is uh, it's penned by all of the countries that have, you know, space programs. And essentially in that it is the foundation of what is probably going to become space law at some point. Oh, I love space and, law. And you will. uh 
what they said is that every country, and I think it's a provision that's within there, is that every country is responsible for any company or private entity that launches space, like from their country, is the the country's responsibility. So they're kind of they're. I think they're just kind of. Uh, I, I think it's kind of fair to 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 for me to. I think it's kind of fair to 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 want or uh, to want accountability. Uh, of these kinds of things because it's again this is going to be there's going to be some landmark cases I sh- i'm sure probably in our lifetime uh of of space law yeah <laughs> so. well it's it's definitely coming because that would be it does make sense for that to be kind of like a base like okay well if it launches from us us you are responsible but at the same time that's a tough it's tough because it's like you know what i mean like <laughs> They can't control what Elon Musk do as a private citizen. It's like, how well, do they exactly. take any, like, any responsibility over his satellites? Right, but that's the thing. It's like, should the... It's, I mean, this is an interesting dialogue for sometime in the future that they're going to have to have. The government's going to have to be like, well, we... Who who rules space, essentially? Who sets the rules in space? Is it the countries or is it the private corporations? And so... Um, oh, we're going to have you know, space I, commandments. <laughs> We're going to have to, man, because yeah. we're going to have a bunch of Lex Luthers like Elon Musk trying to go to fucking space and causing shit. There's going to be nobody to hold them accountable. We don't have I, Superman. Hopefully we have these commandments on us, an extra large Samsung Galaxy tablet. Uh, when I'm sure that, yeah. I mean, it's going to it's probably going to look something like the Georgia Guidestones, but they're going to be giant. Yeah, Samsung just thinking that all, yeah, <laughs> so. they're in space. They're floating yeah. huge. Floating so we can all see it from Earth. They're all just giant. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be cool to get like the it'd be cool to get like a scroll or like the beginning of star wars oh, like yeah. in the middle no, of space just the, scrolling. it's just the obelisks it's the obelisk from uh space odyssey uh 20 uh, 2001 a space odyssey except instead of giant black obelisks it's samsung galaxy tablets yeah i like it uh checks out so that's pretty much all we had for space news uh this week normally we'd end here but now we got some hot ufo videos we got ufo videos of the week these are you know our researchers have scoured mufon uh, for some up-to-date uh recent ufo videos now i'm not saying these are the best videos these are just videos that have been submitted to mufon um this first video comes from uh cross plains texas uh us of a Without further Wait, ado, not Cross Plains, Texas, China? No. U.S. of oh, okay. A. Um, I might have gotten confused there for a second. All right. Let's, uh, let's throw this up on the big screen here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So this one is from Cross Plains, Texas. Uh, the, this was submitted uh, December 9th, 2021. And it was also seen on December 9th, uh, 2021. The submitter said they saw lights that would get brighter, then go out, then appear again. Twice it split into two lights, stopped to record twice, but they didn't come back. But he caught it the third time. So as you see here, it's you know it's a pretty, it's hard to see. It looks like a dusk. Just pulled over on the side of the road. It's hard to see what he's seeing here. I mean. The naked eye sees so much better. Has it happened yet? I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what we're looking at here right now. So we're, this guy's just panning back and forth on a. On I mean, a, he like, probably saw the phenomenon before and then stopped. Whatever yeah. the activity was going on, he probably saw it stopped. Um, Got some dark clouds uh, going on there. Some sort of bug just crawled across. All right. Well, listen. This one's looking like a bus. I'm gonna fast forward through it oh oh that's definitely uh the moon yeah looks like all right i'm not seeing what this guy's seeing oh what was that okay when did that pop up boom light pops up in the middle of the screen two lights oh, two lights a second one just pops up first one disappears a third one oh that's kind of weird actually and disappears and then some flickers up ahead whoa another bright one just pops up kind of disappears 
All right. All right. This guy's got... You know what? I Sorry there, Cross, Cross Plains, Texas. I was talking shit before. That's pretty interesting. I think that's it, Dad. Whatever it was disappears in the clouds. I that's mean, clean the video up and you got a good one, buddy. Yeah, cut. You know what? Like, cut, cut some of this fluff. You've got two minutes of fluff here before this pops. But as soon as it, at two minutes and 13 seconds, I mean, you see these things popping up. And it's it's weird. It what I if I was just going to jump into like what I think this could possibly, be, it kind of looks like a UFO like stuttering, like traveling, like whoop whoop, because it's in a perfect line, just teleporting kind of back and forth. Because it's like a, the second one dims, another one pops up further down the way until it just disappears. Uh, what are your guys' thoughts on this one here? So. Um if you had the audio, we're not playing the audio right now, but if you have the audio on for the video, uh, you can hear him uh, commenting on the strangeness of the thing. But he's also he marks a uh, what seems to be a military aircraft uh, kind of either following or flying in front of these objects that are thing. And you might think, wow, yeah, they sent a military aircraft to check out these these lights. I would also be cautious to, to write to, to mark check the box on UFO um, until I had looked up um, Cross Plains, Texas and what was going on that day because that, that plane is flying out in front of those things and those do look remarkably similar to flares because as the, as the, if you watch closely, you can see the plane flying out in front and as these things, they, they come out behind the plane, seem yeah. to at least, um, and they just their trajectory it looks like something that the plane would have dropped and they kind of go forward a little bit and they kind of arc down but why is a mil uh, like is, a have, is it is it you know there's a military base kind of by me but i've never seen a military plane fly and 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 shoot flares off whether it be military exercise or not i've never seen it is that something that's pretty standard in the states that military planes will circle and just just toss flares willy-nilly for fun uh, well, it could be, a training, could be a training exercise. Right? Could be a training exercise. You gotta remember, man, we're talking about Canada. We have yeah. three planes. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. So. Uh, yeah, again, I'd have to look up Cross Plains, Texas, on December 9th. and uh, I, I that would probably be something if people want to dig into. Looking at that, maybe there was an event. Maybe there was uh, uh, something like that. They're just tossing out flares for for some reason. But um, th that's what they look like. They look like the the objects do look like they're under the influence of gravity they, as they're just kind of falling down. To me, that's what they look like. Anyway. Zero to gimbal. Uh, for me, I put it on zero. I'm like, I'm pretty sure those are flares. <laughs> I'm giving it two. It's pretty cool, pretty interesting. I don't I don't know. Fla I would I guess I'd have to cross reference if there's a bunch of air bases. You you would think if this was a regular thing, people would see it more often, be able to recognize it. Well, I don't know how regular it, it's a training exercise. If it well, was I, right, like it's not like they're doing the same one every week, right? And the chances yeah. of this person coming across it every time, like, I don't know, is this a regular route that he goes on or something right, like maybe that? Maybe he's just never seen flares. Like, maybe he's just never seen them before. I've never seen, I don't, I had no idea what the fuck that was either. So I don't blame him. If I would have saw that, I would have been tripping out too. My gimbal scale drastically fucking plummets when Dan goes before I do. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> give it a fucking. Wait, I don't watch the video. I, it just, it just looks similar to like what I've seen when planes, planes drop flares. It's just, there, there's an aircraft. It seems to be flying. He, he, you can hear, you can actually hear the plane. Like you can hear the jet engine mm. and. Oh, and really? Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, in, if you listen. So flares show, is so. probably the, the most, uh, probably flares or it's uh, aliens. All right. I mean, well, next up we have, uh, uh, something submitted from Pap Papillion, New England. Pap Pap Papillon. 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 That's a dog. Papi Mache. Papillon, Papillon, New England, uh, U.S. of A. Um, this is was sent in November eighteenth, twenty twenty one. That's when it was seen. Uh, bright, large object uh, moving faster than an aircraft. Um, why don't we uh, throw this New in? New England. Are you sure it's not Nebraska? N E? I, I, Nebraska. Dude, I, is it Nebraska? Nebraska. Yeah. New, Engl right. New England's not a state. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Listen, have we not established that I'm Canadian? It would be like Massachusetts, mm. wouldn't it? 
Dude, one time there was one. I thought it was. Uh, I thought GB yeah. was Green Bay, and it was a submission from Great Britain. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, like, right. Like, all right, we've city, established. Pal. I don't know my states. Okay, uh, let's bring this one in for a closer look. Uh, all right. Without further ado, the person said was hanging out cri- with was hanging Christmas lights and obser- observed this large bright light moving far too fast for an aircraft or a satellite or anything I've seen in my 23 years working around military aircraft. I guess he hangs Christmas lights on military aircrafts. Um, he said he was recording it. Uh, it changed suddenly over Omaha while recording through his front yard tree. A motion oh. not possible to known aircraft. Um, so we see a bright light there and then a flashing light to the left. Now, I'm guessing that's the... I wasn't sure... About that, there's that, a one on top that was moving though, right? That one's not moving. No, this one, this one looks like it's moving slowly, but now I can't tell because it's too zoomed in. We have no reference point. We have to use. The, you can kind of use the, the trees tree and there. the leaves yeah, there. So it's moving. Um, yeah, this one's interesting. Like it, it, as we go through it, like it, it does. It does seem to pull some some strange maneuvers. It, it's a little difficult to kind of, yeah, like you said, like for reference and stuff like that, because he keeps zooming in and out, and I'm yeah. not sure if the cameraman is. I'm not sure if the movement is a result, 100 percent, a result of the uh, the craft itself or the moving of the camera. Uh, it, it, wherever the guy is, the positioning of the camera. But, yeah, so, like, right there where it kind of pulls, like, a little U-turn, um, and it's it, it seems like it's slowly descending through the sky, or at least, uh, yeah, it looks like it's going down, and see how it kind of moves uh, back and forth. That like It's almost like a falling leaf kind of motion, like, back and forth. Um, but, yeah, he, zo- he zoomed way in. Yeah. And now it, it's you lose your, your frame of reference. A bit, We've so. talked about this many times on the show. If uh, you know, if you have, if you see, if you think you see a UFO or you're about to see a UFO, two things we require from you from ATT. Thing one, fucking landscape, baby. Take <laughs> like fucking vertical, man. It's just hard for me to put it in the screen here. I would like a nice big vertical one. You know what? But beggars can't be choosers. Secondly, if you're going to film it, you're going to be tempted to zoom way in to see this thing. Your phone's never going to zoom in and get a good quality photo of it. It's never going to be. It's It's never never going to be. No. So keep it zoomed out a little bit so we can get some reference of the, you know, some land framework, some trees or whatnot. But uh, it's an interesting one. It's interesting to see it do those weird motions and stuff. It's very erratic. eh? Yeah. Like, doesn't seem when like it's when it gets purpose. closer down when it gets into the branches and stuff and it moves around uh, those seem to uh, i'm not sure if it's the again i'm not sure if it's the branches or the craft itself it seems to lend to it like it, it the erratic movements and stuff like that but that's interesting in in that part at least at the beginning of the video it looked like there was two right like there was one above it that was kind of like buzzing around that might have been an aircraft like that might have been an no this one was work like it lo- almost looked like a bug the way it was like it yeah. was more erratic like you know what i mean like a fly how it just bucket randomly well, buzzes around to be purpose. honest what i thought what i thought what that might be was just a light from the background like causing a lens flare which sometimes happens with cameras uh, was that yeah, first maybe. light that's why when it f- the video first started i was like all right which light is he thinking because if it's this one on the right the top right one i actually thought was just a, a, a light in the lens which which happens sometimes when you're filming but it was in fact the object that was you know the right in the middle there uh, I def- I'd give this one a, a two on the gimbal sale, like for sure. Like I, it's something interesting. It, it doesn't seem to move like a traditional aircraft or anything like that. It has some strange sudden changes in, in its trajectories that can't really be explained and not really sure what it is. Yeah, I also, uh, you know, I'm going to go a little higher. I th- we said it was out of five, right? Five being a gimbal. Yeah, it's a, yeah uh, five yeah, being a gimbal. Uh, I'm going to give this one a, a four. I, I'm not it's not solid it's not unequivocal evidence but it's pretty good like in, pretty interesting video I mean it follows a lot of the stuff you look for with like the the high rate of speed and the erratic behavior and shit and then a, like the tough time with this it's like what else could it be yeah right like it's just it's it's hard especially when I'm not getting any like reasonable explanations from Dan I just <laughs> everything just starts climbing yeah if, if Dan's not telling me it's not a UFO then I'm like well it, it's I, the 
it's the little yodeler on yeah. the fucking Price is Right. When yeah. Dan doesn't give me something, he just <laughs> slowly fucking climbs. I mean, I'll give it a 3.5. Uh, this next video is from Elkhart, Indiana. Is it I-N? I-N? Yeah. Hey! hey, hey. Uh, first thing I'm going to say about this, bravo, landscape. Look at that. I love it. Um, they said a ball of light was passing by. Uh, then this was july 4th 2021 but it wasn't submitted till uh, december to mufon um let's take a closer look at this one here so we've got oh what happened here okay there we go um see a fastball of light moving here again fight that urge people fight that urge to zoom in he, zo he zooms back out he's the, the footage he'll zoom back out in a second you're not uh, getting you're not gonna get nothing no, I give this guy credit. He zooms in and then he realizes, yeah, yeah. he's not really going to be able to do anything. And he zooms back out to, to really see, uh, uh, kind of see what it is. It's just flying over the water there. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's very interesting. You can see something, something hazy um, moving across there. It's, it's hard to see. That's not hard to see, though. Uh, I like at the start of this video, the audio, he goes, a lot of people are going to say this is some sort of gas. <laughs> <laughs> um, to fucking fight that I, urge. I would tell, I'll tell him right now. It's, it's, I'll, tell, I'll say right now, it's, it's probably not gas. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with him. Like, that one seems to be flickering as, it, as it's moving. It looks like it's burning. It, but it's too big for China lanterns. Too big, by big uh, and this one's just drifting out of sight so I'm gonna pause it uh, I'm gonna pause it right there what what's uh what's your guys thoughts on this one you guys can go first well, he said <laughs> he said this so this one he, he said his description um, he just said he was on a boat and he saw these things passing he doesn't think they're airplanes he didn't hear any sounds that's what he says sure. um, yeah. You get these two things, you know, popping in, fading out, and then a second one on the same trajectory. My brain right away goes to like, okay, well, is there some sort of airport there? Because if they're flying in a row, you know, that's pretty telltale of like an airport getting ready for a runway. Yeah, there's um, not really anything remarkable about the movement. No, it, that's that's the one thing. It's like it's it's not it's a bright light, yes, but that could easily, you know, I could say that you know, as it's coming in from the screen. There's some cloud cover. It pops out of cloud cover for a bit, and then there's some other low cloud cover uh, as it moves across and it disappears. You know, as for like him saying not, you know, I don't know if he just couldn't see hear sound because he was too far away, whatnot. But it, it's these are this one isn't that remarkable to me, and I would want to. My brain when you see when I see a couple in a row like this wants to go. It's planes going for a landing pad. That's what I want to go. So I'm going to give this one a one out of gimbal. Andrew? I mean, it's interesting. It's cool. I really, like for me, I'm a stooge for the movement. I like that because it's like I just, sometimes they can't, like what else can make movements so erratic like the last one we watched, right? Whereas that, that could potentially be anything. Yeah. Right? It's just, it doesn't stand out. It doesn't have the wow factor for me really. Yeah, you know, all I, it is is it's a looks like some type of reflection or a light that's going slowly across the sky in a straight line, like a purposeful looking movement. Like, yep. yeah, I don't, I, I give it maybe a one on a gimbal scale personally. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I am. I agree with Raiden on the on the point that it seems that you might ha you have two objects traveling at the same in the same direction and also seemingly at the same altitude. Uh, my mind goes right to um at first it was, it was like satellite it could be satellite satellites usually treasurable in in duos or pairs like you have them like going you know they, they follow like in the same orbit but those ones are usually like going kind of like from north to south or whatever like they go across the horizon not mm -hmm. like or over the horizon not like a, that way um horizontally like parallel so yeah then i would be like okay maybe it is it actually it's probably probably like brain said you might want to check for close airports where you have these airplanes just like their one wing is facing towards them um 
uh, it does look like it's blinking and so i mean that's it doesn't seem to have the blinking effect that a usual plane like the kind of rhythmic that i would that's something to kind of comment on but that also could be a result of um we talked about it before that uh changes in air density and air pressure in the atmosphere like up there where planes are flying can often affect like that distance in, in air can affect the what the light looks like and so sometimes it'll dim it'll look like it's random or it's like it's blinking or whatever but it's just changes in the air um uh, as it, as the light travels through it so uh, i but yeah i'd probably be like check for an airport first before i go 100 percent ufo so i'm probably a one uh you know if there's no airports over there then okay <laughs> then yeah sure maybe i'd pump up the numbers uh towards a gimbal <laughs> um next up we got a little bit of conspiracy news from last week uh the big news story was Ghislaine maxwell uh I think you pronounced that wrong. What's it? Was it? Is it Jistane? Jistane Maxwell. Either way, she's been uh, found guilty. So uh, on almost Good. all counts, ex- there was one she wasn't found guilty on. Um, the the but big she issue probably was the big issue that people are taking. Uh, well, two are people are saying, well, you know, <laughs> who's going to be guarding that cell? Uh, and the second is there was a little bit of outrage of some of the evidence being sealed because, you know, the public perception is that. They want any anyone who was in these books or named to be thoroughly investigated and brought to Absolutely. justice if that's the case. And it's, you know, seemingly, if all the stories are to be believed, that I, they're just sealing this up and they're like, hey, no, this evidence is now sealed. We're not we're not taking any further looks at it. Um, how this is going to bode for um, the likes of like Prince Andrew, um, because some of the testimony bo- that she was found guilty on is also incriminating to prince andrew um so time will tell what are you guys thoughts on this one i mean it's been a long i was getting sick of those fucking fc memes but you know this one's seemingly starting to wrap itself up here uh i want i i am excited to see the 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 response of prince andrew's uh legal team uh trying to provide evidence that he doesn't sweat (laughs) i'm i'm excited to see that it's it like god man he's got to have one pr team right now that's just like god damn a lot of l's in 2021 for prince andrew uh andrew what were your thoughts on it i mean i just i can't think of a form of punishment with that would be enough for these people i wish they'd bring back the torture rack or something like that and just i don't think she deserves to get fucking three hot meals and a roof over her head yeah no i agree it's uh it's nice to see her come to justice but we'll see what what that looks like and what her sentences are and uh you, you know i wonder if there's any deals on the table for her to out other people like you know we're gonna see that uh uh coming up but that was you know just wanted to briefly touch on that um more on that story as it unfolds but right now uh just maxwell found guilty on i think it was on four or five counts so she's looking at some hefty hefty jail time um Good. <laughs> last up uh before we take off uh if you're not on our facebook page uh f- facebook.com slash you know look us up alien theorists theorizing join our private group uh is meme of the week this is a good one i don't know if you guys have seen it yet uh boom we got uh yeah. uh sask zell uh and he says for zell nasty zell nasty <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah um it just fits so well i mean look at those look at those Look at just it's beautiful because it's just it, it encompasses his fucking unimpressedness with us. You yeah. can see it. He's looking at us, just being like, "I'm sick of these guys." Shit. Yeah, he's like, "Oh God damn it. Are you fucking kidding me?" That's yeah. exactly. What he's yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. It should have said "LOL" at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, that's it for space news. If you like this new format, uh, we're gonna be trying it. We're gonna be polishing it. This was a pilot episode. Uh, it, it was fast and loose, so. Um, if you like us, let us know. Um, you know where to find us on all socials. Uh, we've got our T Public store. You can go to aliantheorist.com to find out everything we do. Uh, Patreon.com slash alien theorist theorizing. No, alien theorist podcast to support all the things we do. And as we always say at the end of these things, keep those eyes on the skies. Peace! To keep up to date with all things alien theorist theorizing, Follow us across social media on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, and Facebook. 
For updates on new videos and content on YouTube, don't forget to click like and subscribe and hit that notifications button to keep those eyes on the skies with alien theorists theorizing.